Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Pink Fresh Fridays, where we'll all be using Pink Fresh that is new to us or from our stash. Mine is from my stash, and it's also Christmas in November, so I will be creating a Christmas layout, and I'll be using uh, Pink Fresh Oh What Fun. And this is the photo I'm going to be scrapping of my great nephew, Parker, and his daddy putting a star on the tree. And other than those sequins there, everything else is the oh what fun except for the background paper. And it is from Let's Stay Home. Yeah, none of the wood veneer is going to make it on the layout. That's how it ended up being all oh what fun except for the sequins in the background paper. Anyway, I tried. I put it out there. I tried. They just didn't make it on here. I am going to do the one-third, two-thirds design, which I love, but uh, don't do often enough at all because I really do love it. And I'm going to put a border up there at the top, and I'm just going to go ahead and put a, one at the bottom. This strip was like a scrap, the bottom one was. And I thought, well, I might as well use it to, I cut the other one before I seen it, or I would have just used it to start with. I'm going to use one of the pockets. It comes with a string on there, but the string fell off. And I decided, well, do I really need it? So I left it in the packaging. I started to put that branch up there at the top, but it seemed to kind of blend in way too much. And I wanted it to make a little bit more of a statement and show up. So I inked it in uh, bundled sage. And to get the others to match it, the other greenery that I'm using, I'm going to go ahead and ink them too. I didn't want it to be the only greenery ink, so I just inked the others too while I was at it. Since my uh, tag is a pocket, I thought I'd kind of use it like a uh, Santa's bag and tuck it full of all kinds of stuff and since the bottom part is kind of long compared to the top part I am going to embellish it too just to kind of break up the empty space on it. I took the adhesive off of both sides of that strip so that it go around the wreath a lot easier and I am just putting it on there without the, re the release paper on either side and it curves around there so much better. I am going to use both of the candy canes that was in the ephemera. I do have another package of it. Somehow I ended up with two packages of the ephemera and so I thought well I think I've been kind of hoarding them because they're just so cute. But they'd go good in this pocket here, so I'm going to go ahead and use both of them. There are several things in this collection that says, oh, what fun. And I thought, well, I'm going to use one on every layout I create. <laughs> and so, of course, not two. Just one, just one. That's all I need. And so this time it ended up being the circular piece. Since I had the wreath and kind of nestled down in there and to go with the curve of the wreath, and I thought it worked well there. Boy, I, I'm just kind of tripping all over my words today. I am not doing well at all with this voiceover. I wanted to add some blue to it because, you know, I already have some of this blue pattern on there. Oh, and I think I... Uh, did say that the background was the only thing not. Oh, what fun. That blue isn't either. It's from <laughs> Let's Stay Home also. And I'm adding it to it because there is a little bit of blue stuff in that collection. And I think I've used it about every layout. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about every layout that I have made with the Oh, What Fun. And both Parker and Michael have blue shirts on. So this collection worked well for this photo. And isn't he cute? His daddy holding him up there like that and putting that star on the tree. I have a picture of my brother holding his youngest son up putting the star on the tree. And I really liked scrapping it. And that was several years before then. <laughs> and 
I thought, boy, I've got to scrap this one. And then I misplaced it. I put it in the wrong folder on the computer. I found it just a day or so ago. And I thought, I have got to scrap it, print it out, scrap it, and get it on a layout. Because my sister will be tickled to get this in her album for Christmas. I thought at first I would um, put that circle there for the photo and put it on the photo. And I'm not going to use it after all, at all, on the layout. I want to change my mind and decide to go with some other stuff. There is a piece of chipboard that says Wonderful Traditions. And I thought, well, I want to use that. It did not go with that circle. And I wanted it by the photo. So I'm picking out the stuff to go with it and to make a cluster. And I finally decided on the blue, since, you know, they do have the blue shirts. And to kind of emphasize the blue a little bit more, there's like one ornament on the tree that's blue. And I thought, well, this will be right catty corner kind of from it over to the right. And it'll accent that blue ornament just a little bit more. So I've got the stocking, merry and bright, and then wonderful traditions. And then I am using a star that says joy. And I'm going to put a teeny tiny piece of foam tape underneath the star so that it can overlap the piece of chipboard that says wonderful traditions. And then I'm going to add some sequins later, but I didn't put anything on that little label there because I thought, well, if they know what day they decorated the tree, mostly our family does it like Black Friday, you know, in the evening on Black Friday or on Saturday evening because from Black Friday on Saturday, Friday and Saturday night, the radio puts on songs for trim a tree. So for like three hours, they'll have Christmas music on the radio so you can trim your tree with the Christmas music. So my title is going to be Trim a Tree. I thought I'd use that chipboard that says together up there at the top, but that didn't work out. I ended up using a puffy sticker up there that says love and peace. I wanted something just a little bit bigger after all. And so I thought I'd use it on this uh, pocket tag, tag pocket. I don't know, one or the other. It's one or the other. And it's both, too. Anyway, I thought I'd use it. And then I no more get it down and realize right below it, it says gather together on the uh, pocket tag. And so I had to take it off and find something else to put there and tuck it underneath that poinsettia. And I will put holiday vibes on there and just add a little bit more blue to that pocket. And it's a dark blue too. So I thought it looked pretty good there. And on the right, it says rejoice. And I have been thinking about taking the rest of that tag and put it on the other side, but I haven't made my mind up about that yet. It looks like an empty spot there, but when I was doing the layout, I thought, well, I want to scoot over and have a space there. But now, watching the video, I'm thinking I want to put the rest of that tag on there. So I don't know which one I'm going to do. I have not made up my mind yet. But <laughs> while I am putting the sequins on there, I want to mention that down there below, you will find two. Yes, two sets of links down there one for pink fresh friday and one for christmas in november so lots of inspiration and some of the links might match because somebody else might be doing both but uh yeah i i think this is the cutest collection well i really really like the one that they had this last year this is the one from the year before but i had so much of this still because i hadn't hardly touched it that I didn't go ahead and get it. And of course, it's pretty much long gone. But yeah, both of them are cute. I haven't even seen this year's yet. I'm trying not to look at that kind of stuff, you know, because I might want it. <laughs> but uh, I need to use what I have. But I almost forgot the title. So it went on after the sequins. But it is Trim a Tree because they are trimming the Christmas tree. Nice, simple title. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I, I had fun doing it. And I think you all have fun watching the videos too and get lots of ideas. I put the that water globe, snow globe thing down where the edges are right along the edge of the piece, uh, the blue trim. And then the others I put right on the edge. And that way it looked more three dimensional, at least in my mind. And there's my cluster to get the date. And there's the pocket tag and the rejoice on the side. And don't that holiday vibes look good there so it's probably a good thing it did the other one didn't make it at the top because i may never notice gather together the word together on the layout twice and i try not to put them on there twice but um if you leave a comment down there below i'll try to get back with you and if you like the video and hit a thumbs up i'll appreciate it and if you are not subscribed to my channel i would love to have you subscribe and those of you already are thank you so very much I hope you all have a happy scrappy week. You have fun checking out the links down there below. And get lots of inspiration. Bye.